Today's video is all about Tajikistan, a hidden gem in Central Asia that is waiting to be discovered. It's breathtaking, it's steeped in history, it's friendly and it's full of flavors. If you're looking for an off the beaten path destination, Tajikistan should definitely be on your radar. In this video, we'll dive into the top 6 reasons why you must pack your bags and travel to Tajikistan ASAP. And stay until the end of the video as I will also talk about some of the challenges that we face and what you must know before coming to avoid these issues. To start off the list, we have Dushanbe, the charming and vibrant capital city. This city is often overlooked as travelers often come to Tajikistan to go to the main attractions such as Pamir Mountains and don't really spend much time in the capital city. But we did find Dushanbe to be quite interesting and enjoyable. With its mix of modern architecture and Soviet era buildings, Dushanbe offers a unique blend of old and new. So now we are at Haji Yaqub Mosque, which is one of the historical and central mosques here in Dushanbe. And this mosque was founded over 200 years ago here, and it's named after Haji Yaqub, who was the Tajik religious leader, who at the time fled over to Afghanistan. Now this mosque can fit up to 3,000 worshippers, and it's absolutely beautiful. This area has really good fruits, nuts, dairy products, meats. So now we're getting some Persian saffrons imported from Iran, about 65 uh, somoni for three grand here. And actually here, it's not only fruits and nuts and those things, you can actually find a lot of different things, including clothing and all kinds of stuff that is here. It's a good place to check out. We enjoy it a lot and this is definitely our favorite one in Dushanbe. One of the best things about traveling to Tajikistan is that it is very budget friendly. Accommodation, transportation, and food are all reasonably priced, making it a great option for travelers looking to experience an unforgettable adventure without breaking the bank. So for $20, I got a good local lunch that came with tea. We got a pomegranate juice, ice cream, some fruits, as well as a haircut. So that is how far $20 takes you here in Tajikistan. Tajik cuisine is a delightful blend of flavors that has evolved over centuries. Indulge in mouth-watering dishes like croutop, a traditional bread and yogurt dish, or even some of the most incredible fish that you can eat anywhere in the world. The skin is like very crunchy. Yeah, so. it's juicy. Ah. Very nice. The people of Tajikistan are known for their genuine warmth and hospitality. Locals go out of their way to make visitors feel welcome, and it's not uncommon to be invited into a family's home for a cup of tea or some friendly conversation. Tajik people are some of the nicest people that you will meet anywhere in the world. So we got our first Tajikistan haircut. Welcome to Living Less Journey. Please like and comment. Hey! <laughs> we are waiting you in Tajikistan, Dushanbe. <laughs> Come and visit. <laughs> Beautiful country. Tajikistan has a rich cultural heritage that dates back thousands of years. With the history influenced by ancient empires such as the Persians and the Silk Road traders, this nation has a unique and fascinating past. Everywhere you turn, there is a piece of history waiting to be explored. And at number one, we have the spectacular natural beauty. Tajikistan is a paradise for nature lovers, boasting some of the most spectacular landscapes in the world. From the towering peaks of the Pamir mountain to its lakes and rivers, there is no shortage of jaw-dropping sights to behold. Whether you're hiking, trekking, or simply enjoying a scenic drive, you'll be constantly amazed by the country's natural beauty. Fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee, I wanna sing. Alright, so to wrap up this video, I also wanted to mention some of the challenges and issues that we had, so that way your trip to Tajikistan would go smoothly. So one of the current requirements of Tajikistan is that after 10 days of stay, you must register with the nearest department of visas. It's a process called OVIR or OVIR. And basically, you know, you pay a little bit of a fee, you register after 10 days and you're good. If you don't do that, you're gonna have some delays when you're leaving the airport and you're gonna have to pay some fines. So definitely if you're staying over 10 days, make sure to do the OVIR registration. Now, a lot of the hotels and guest houses will do the process for you. But if you are in an Airbnb like we were, definitely make sure that you do the process yourself.
Now the next thing is that upon arriving to the airport in Dushanbe, there is nobody really selling SIM cards and the Wi-Fi does not often work. So when we arrived, there was no Wi-Fi at the airport and there was nobody selling SIM cards. But because I speak Farsi, I was able to communicate. Now there were some people that did not speak it and they had some tough time uh, kind of getting around so I was helping them out. But definitely when you are coming to Dushanbe, download an offline translator. Now you could do it with Google or whatever translator that you have. Go Go ahead and download that on your phone that way when you land you don't need the internet to be able to communicate you could use the app and be able to communicate and go where you want to go and the next thing is that the internet and the data is pretty bad in Tajikistan. It's actually one of the worst in the world. Luckily, when I was coming to Tajikistan, I coordinated with my host and they were able to put together a good internet package for me at the house, which was roughly around 30 to 40 Mbps, and which is pretty good. But anywhere outside from cafes to restaurants or even in the city with our phone, the internet is pretty bad. So just be aware of that and uh, make some coordinations uh, perhaps with your host if you have an Airbnb. So see if you could get a faster package and you know pay a little bit more for that. It's definitely possible, but you need some coordination and uh, you know, regardless, it's a good place to also disconnect. So when you come here, if you're coming on a travel, it's definitely a nice place to just kind of disconnect, be away from that technology and yeah, just have a good time. Overall, we really didn't have any issues in Tajikistan. There were a few things that we learned that I wanted to share here in the video for you to have a more smoother trip and uh, Tajikistan is really an amazing destination to be and we really enjoyed our one month in the country. So there you have it, the top six reasons to travel to Tajikistan and some tips to make your trip go smoothly. So what are you waiting for? Pack your bags and embark on an unforgettable journey to this incredible destination. Mm -hmm.